I'm Anthony Noddy O'Reilly from Machuga. Uh, how I got involved to the Kerfoot Street sandbagging was um, I just came down here, I think it was on the Friday lunchtime to give a hand and um, a lot of people just were down here wanting to work and probably wasn't enough direction going. So a few of us just got together and said, right, right let's fill sandbags and, and start filling them up and get them out. We split everything up in the one end was the Hessian sandbags were going out one end, which was the government bags, we're calling them, which they went out to the emergency hotspots and the levee banks. And down the other end of Kerfoot Street was the community bags, which were donated. A large, well, I think all of them were donated. We had probably some five, six year olds, if not a little bit younger. There was actually a few in prams. They weren't doing much, but the, the parents wanted to do something. The parents wanted to fill sandbags. Like we had some older people here and some, I think one lady there was about 85, she said, and she was here for about four or five days. And I ran into her down the port area a couple of days after we stopped. And it was a new lease of life for her. And she just thought it was fantastic, the adrenaline that she got from lumping sandbags. And, and you had to go through and make sure everyone was drinking water and having something to eat and, and having a break because everyone really wanted to get in there, but you still had to manage them and give them rest. They didn't want to do that because you walk through and say, everyone have a break. You walk around the other side and they're filling sandbags up again. So you almost had to look behind you to stop people filling sandbags. And because we were filling sandbags that quick, we had a problem then of trying to empty the area of pallets and sandbags. We are still starting about seven o'clock in the morning. Um, a lot of nights there, we'd try to knock off at nine o'clock because we didn't really have lights. Northern High Group supplied a few lights when we wanted to, but then we try to clean up and people were coming to get sandbags. So next minute you're loading up sandbags you know, to 11 o'clock at night. We sort of got in a bit of routine. We had Nick and Chris up one end, handing all the sandbags out to the community groups. Shana on the forklift, she did a fantastic job. Also had Potsy here as well, and Wigger up this end. I better not forget them because they'll never let me forget it. And we had Northern Hire Group giving us a hand, anything we want it, yep, we'll give it to you straight away. We'll put in sandbags and things in the Chukamama Camping um, Caravan Centre. A rough estimate of the bags that were donated and the Hesher bags, the government bags, we think will be over 300,000. And that's not the counting of the pillowcases we filled too. So at one stage, we ran out of everything. Big W donated a heap of pillowcases. So we were filling pillowcases and other people donated pillowcases as well. One of the funniest things was you, you kept walking through because the, the army kept saying their sandbags were too full. So you had to keep walking through saying two to three shovelfuls. And a lot of tradies, we're right, we're gonna fill these sandbags. Because we, were, we weren't just filling sandbags, we were filling everything. So the bigger the bag was the word, the more sand got in it. But they all went down to start lumping sandbags and they come back and they said, well, no one you've been telling us to lighten the sandbags up because they're too heavy. And I said, oh, I don't know that. That's what everyone's been telling you. So it was the banter between the, uh, the tradies, the football clubs, netball clubs, is all the year 12s that go up muck up day to do sandbags. Now, how great is that? It just proves when your chips are down, there's always someone here to help. The people you met in those eight days, 10 days, are lifelong friends now. I, I know it's a bit of a cl cliche, but you spent so much time and you're on the same wavelength as them and it was just fantastic.